Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like us, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Today is uh, going to be on fly fishing. So the educational part of it is basically what customers have been asking us. How do I set up a fly reel for rivers and dams? So what I've got here is our Dower Lochmore 100A, our backing braid that we're going to be using. I've got my Snowbee fly line and I'm using a four weight floating today, as well as my Siglon tapered leader. Okay, and just to let you know, that's a 4X, as you can see. Okay, so to set it up, quite simply, remove the reel. Now there's two ways that we can actually do it. Um, you can either do it manually, where you do it by hand, or of course we've got machines here at the Kingfisher that we can utilize. Just to show you, I'm going to do it by hand. Um, quick and easy, let's just take off the spool first of all. I'm going to take my fly line backing and this is 20 pound because we don't need anything too heavy for the four weight or the river. And what we're going to tie is a figure of eight or a slip knot. Here we go. One, two, three, and I'll just do four for fun. Go through and back out. So there's your figure of eight, open it up to form the figure of eight. There it is there, tied. I then take it over the spool and I twist it and go back over. That basically prevents the fly line from um, slipping when it's under pressure. I'm just gonna quickly grab my scissors or pliers, whatever I've got here, and cut off the tag end close to the end as I can. So that's what I do. We then put the fly reel on. And now we just wind up about 30 meters of fly line backing. Because it's a light outfit, we're targeting smaller trout or yellowfish or whatever it might be. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just drop this down the bottom there. And hopefully, there we go. <clears throat> Okay, so 30 meters on the machine, we would measure it. Over here, I know 30 meters backwards. So what I'm gonna do is basically just wind it. And while I'm doing it, I'm just using my finger to actually maneuver it. And this might take a little while, unfortunately, because the arbor is so small on the reel. And yeah, there we go, that's 30 meters. It's up to the mark where it should be. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Snowbee Classic fly line. <clears throat> so there's two ways we can join it. A Snowbee Classic comes with two braided loops, as you can see over there. But I know because we are fishing small rivers, I'm just gonna show you another way of actually doing it. Okay, let's just undo everything. At the end, you'll get a little loop that says attach fly line to backing. That's that little white tag that you see there. So we know that that part of it needs to basically go on the fly line. Yeah. Put it back onto our spool. Now to tie the knot is basically a nail knot or a figure of eight. I'm just gonna do my figure of eight that I always do. It just works very well for me, so I'm gonna carry on using it. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Okay, take it off. And now what you do is you just hold the tag end and pull gently 
and you'll see how it starts to form its own figure of eight. There we go. Okay, very simple. Move it to where you want it to be, obviously the, the end of the actual fly line here, like that. Then what you do is you just pull it tight, so here we go. There we go, it's not going to come loose at all. I'm just going to cut off that bit there and that over there. Just to neaten it up a little bit. So that is the joining knot. Now to make sure that it doesn't come undone, we can either use a little bit of super glue or UV knot sense. UV knot sense is what I prefer. So I'm just going to put a little drop on. And it just makes it nice if it does go through the eye of the rod. There we go. Okay, UV knot sense, just thin it down a little bit there. And we're gonna use the light, our UV light. Okay, after I've used the UV light or gone outside to use the natural light, basically that's a knot, it's very small, goes through the eyes and it's extremely, extremely strong. Um, it's very quick to tie as well. Okay, now from there, we basically got two holes on our actual spool. And what we'll do is, we'll put it down like that and we'll wind it on. Okay, very quick and easily. So I'm just gonna do that now. Okay, so there we go, guys. All I'm gonna do, is wind it on by hand and as I'm doing it I'm just moving it backwards and forwards like you normally would. And as you can see it's going all the way through. The Snowy Classic is a very soft supple line, easy to throw, ideal for rivers and very inexpensive. Ideal for beginners by the way um, because of the price, it's priced so well. And there comes the end of it. Okay. Okay, so that is the fly line end of our fly line, our Snowbee fly line. What I'm going to do now is put on our Siglon tapered leader. And we're going to do it pretty much the exact same way that we did with our backing. Okay, so let me just quickly get this off. Okay. There we go, it's a 4X tapered leader, 2.3 kilos, which is a little bit heavy for the rivers we're gonna fish this weekend, but it'll work. Just gonna undo it quickly, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Just give it a little bit of a, a pull just to allow the line to go a little bit straighter. Here we go. Okay. So a Siglon tapered leader basically goes from being very thick at one end to being very thin at the other end. Okay, so it just presents the fly a lot better. Okay, here we go for attaching. And again, Ray's trusty figure of eight. Here we go, one knot. And the guys ask why a figure of eight on it? It's a lot smaller, it presents a lot uh, more subtle on the water, and it doesn't make a big splash in that. So what we're doing is just crossing it over and doing the figure of eight. There we go, one, two, three, four times, back through and out like so. Grab the tag end and the fly line and we just open it very slowly, forming a figure of eight. Move it down to the end of the fly line, like so. Just make sure it's seated properly. There we go. And we just pull tight. I'm just going to use my mouth to do it. <laughs> I 
fly line is going nowhere. Take our scissors, side cutters, whatever you're using. Cut it off. There we go, guys. It's very small, very subtle. So when it comes to those delicate presentations, it does not make a big splash compared to using a braided loop. We also put on UV knot sense. I'm just gonna use that quickly. Put one drop on and we activate it with a UV light. I just wanna make sure it goes into all the grooves here. There we go. Take a UV light. Okay guys, there we go. I've just activated the uh, actual UV and you can see the epoxy has gone hard on it and that's it. That's uh, pretty much the whole rig done from backing all the way through to tapered leader on the fly line. There we go. Ready to go and fish. All we're going to do is put it on our rod, put a fly on the end and hit the rivers. Here we go guys. I hope you enjoy.